Welcome to another wretched unboxing and first look live commentary video of Darksiders 2. So, <clears throat> as you all would know if you actually pay attention to the site, there's the game, limited edition. I actually love the first Darksiders, been waiting two and a half years for this for Darksiders 2 to come out. Excuse me while I get something to cut that open with. Blade. I never find this goddamn blade what I need. And that is why these unboxings will always be wretched. What the hell is on this knife? Ugh. Yeah, so love this game. Actually picked it up. The day of release, but haven't really had time to play it. Real life shit going on. So it's just been sitting in the bag. In the plastic. Let's crack that bitch open. So there it is. Let's actually remove it so it actually is an unboxing. Um. Oh, this Metro Last Light and some bullshit South Park crap on the side. Uh, this is my code, which you will not see. Looks like another code. Booklet, you know. Very, very thin, as they usually are. And, so, we are going to actually go and... Put this in to the PS3. Yes. So that's in there. Let's get a view of the TV screen there. And let's load this bitch up. system update bullshit what is popping youtube your boy son twisted and welcome to my live commentary unboxing first impressions video of darksiders 2 as i stated already if you've been paying attention i've been awaiting this game for a long time two and a half years in fact waiting for part two to come out I love Darksiders 1, you know, picked the game up yesterday, pre-ordered it of course, didn't get a chance to actually play it until today, wifey was over so had to do real life stuff for gaming, um, I know Go, <laughs> a little disappointed that a Darksiders gameplay commentary video is not up yet um, a couple of people have asked me how is it you know they want to know what was going on in it unfortunately didn't play it yet so getting into it now highly anticipating this game oh my god my most highly anticipated game of 2012 Darksiders 2 Really? You're gonna sit there and show me all of this shit? I wonder if anybody actually pays attention to all of these to all of these things or do you just go in hit the buttons and and get it popping from you know, figuring it out by hitting the buttons and seeing what they're doing. Do you actually memorize, you know, the the movement list in the in the pamphlet that they call a, a user's guide or from these tutorials that they throw up on the screen like who's paying? I'm not even paying attention to any of this shit 
Is, read, I'm not going to remember any of that. I'm going there and press the buttons and see what the fuck it does. Let muscle memory take over from there. That is fucking crazy. I already knew the story, but that, that is fucking crazy, though. <clears throat> they gave them all this power and they wiped out their own race. I think Darksiders 3 should start strife, though. Kinslayer. <laughs> well, so far, you know, starting off cool. Um, I can't really comment on the vibrance of, of the look of the game because I am playing this in, you know, this, this wretched 720p over component. So I actually have to glance over to Total Media Extreme to see the real, you know, 1080 look. I mean, it, it, it looks as good as the original Darksiders. I'm liking the, the, you know, the colors on it and the animation and all that. But I guess I really won't be able to really see it until I, you know, when I'm not recording. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do a... Uh, playthrough of this for y'all probably will why not I did it for the first one it would only be right that the next playthrough was Darksiders 2 but again we'll see huh find a way to save war so do I have to do both tasks or do I have to Pick one. Whoa. Um, okay. Despair runs all kinds of retarded. Controlling ruin was much smoother. Like, why is he hiccuping? Is that. Is that the game? Is that me? You know what? I think it was me. I think I was actually hitting the button to jump for despair instead of the the gallop. So I think it was me doing that retarded <laughs> causing that retarded motion. Oh my god, come on with this. Okay. Mm-hmm. Twin sickles that he has in his hand are kinda kinda nice. Kinda reminiscent of Ninja Guy Den. Yeah, very reminiscent. Other than the fact that there's no chain in the middle. 
that reminds me a lot of the Vigorian flail. And he's definitely faster than war as well. What is that? Oh shit. Straight knocked that bastard out of his boots. That's different. What is this? What is this burgundy shit? And you find weapons. Is this how you level up your shit? Um. Huh. This is gonna take getting some use to this. What the fuck? Yeah, this is the part that's gonna take getting some getting used to is knowing how to how to navigate through through this weapons. This oh really? You can summon a you can summon a crow as well. He works for the crow father. This motherfucker. Um, where's the secondary weapon that they said I have? They fucking lied. Said I had a secondary weapon. I see nothing. Is that what this was pointing me to? Yeah, I don't I don't understand the secondary weapon shit. Right here are the weapons. This is not letting me move through anything. Except back to how this is not letting me do anything. I said I have a secondary weapon. These are skills. These are weapons, but there's no secondary weapon here. I don't know. Fuck it, let's get back into the game. What is that purple shit? Is okay. Oh, I think I see what it is. This bastard acts as as that other that cocksucker from the first one. He's like your guide to tell you which direction you're supposed to be going. Was that? I guess that 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 crow is supposed to act as your guide. Okay. You don't have a double jump in this. Um. Yeah, that did nothing. Prefer a double jump. Fuck is this? That's crazy. He was frozen. I beat. I whooped his ass, and then all of a sudden he wakes up. Thought he was incapacitated. I didn't realize he was just asleep. That's crazy how they got that one opens up the shit instead of you punching it. Wait, what? That said health potion and wrath potion?
yeah, this is gonna take some getting used to. It's, you can't just jump, jump in here from Dark Siders one and then just think you're gonna come make it happen. You gotta actually relearn everything. I don't know how I feel about this picking up parts of enemies to boost your weapons and, and shit. I don't know if I like all of that. Is that Volgrim? <laughs> Sounds like Volgrim's bitch ass. Whatever he was, he just fucking ran away. He just, he stood there laughing and he ran away. I really want to know what's up with this secondary weapon that I'm supposed to have. Second time I picked that axe up. Huh, was that a mistake? Possibly so. So far, I think I, I like the first Darksiders a little bit better from Jump. That one felt more intuitive to me, but again, it could just be because I'm used to the first Darksiders and this one plays slightly different that I'm, that I'm saying that. But you know, it, it, the look is, is the same. You know, it looks pretty good. Very fluid with the movement. Yeah, these weapons you're picking up, I don't, I don't understand what's going on with them. I don't think, I, I think it's more like the uh, Prince of Persia when you pick up those secondary weapons, and once you use it, it's gone. Like it's a one-time use thing. Maybe that's why I don't I don't see it in my shit. What the hell? Maybe that's why I didn't see it in the secondary uh, weapons list. Maybe I actually used it and didn't realize that I used it. Over here running across the lag tights. Hey, fucking place is coming down. How do you grab these cocksuckers? That used to be one of my favorite moves to do to these enemies. Just snatch them up and smash them against shit. The way this starts off, I don't know, I don't think there's enough explanation for this to just, it just throws you in and it doesn't really explain what Death is actually doing, where he is, and why he went from here, it's just like, it just starts and you're, you're on, I forgot what the name of his damn horse is, you're, but you're on the horse. And... 
in this under underworld type of realm. Seriously, what is it? For? laughter huh? I didn't hear any of that sick laughter so eh. I don't know how you sprint up this wall either I know war used to be able to do that also I have a okay All these things. These are one of those uh, not a boss guys. to hit select while you're next to the weapon to equip it so if you pick it up it do, it's not your secondary that's fucking stupid do I run up this chain no Okay, that, that wall run shit is not too responsive. Okay, I don't, I don't even know why I came into this room. Hopefully this upgrades me in some kind of manner. Ah, fucking elevator. glorious music like I just accomplished something <laughs> we didn't do shit but go up a floor I need more spectacular weapons what
Why is this shit falling apart? And seriously, why can't you jump or... Oh my god! Really? There's a lot of Prince of Persia-esque shit going on here. Oh, they get up anyway, even if you don't... Oh, smash them! Yeah, that, that's much faster. Oh, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot you can't die. You're death. Can you leap to that? At least? Um, maybe you gotta go up to the sea. I wasn't paying attention, guys. Even though you can't die, does your health bar decrease when you when you do stupid shit like that? So you won't die, you'll just lose? <laughs> Is that how it works? Um... Hmm, I guess. the fuck? Is this the same shit that I just... No, can't be. Really? Really? That's how we gotta do this shit? This a knock a knock or something I'm running towards. It's a big ass broken chronograph by the fucking crow father. Fucking <laughs> father of, of Icarus. Damn it! I can't hear what the fuck this dude is saying. I can't even hear what, what Death's voice sounds like because this shit is not picking up any sound right now. This is bullshit. So I guess I'm gonna end it here for you guys and... You know, so it's, yeah, it's starting off kind of slow. It didn't, it didn't kick off with the same excitement that Darksiders 1 kicked off with. Learning the controls is a little, you know, it's a little iffy. And I don't think they really properly explained what the hell you're doing before they just threw you into the game. You know, I mean, we understand you're trying to clear up War's name, but it didn't even, it, 
I think they should have explained what exactly it is Death is going to try to do to clear up War's name and where it is he has to go so that you understand where it is you're starting off, why you're starting off there. just threw you out there on your horse in some nether realm and whatever. I wonder if, they, I wonder if he's going to take that mask off and let you actually see his face. Anyway, it's cool so far. Like I said, haven't really gotten into it, into the real excitement of the game. It's more fluid with the fighting. You know, death is much faster than war was. <sighs> I guess you're eventually going to have to fight this old bastard, but... I'm gonna enjoy playing this game. I'll holla at you motherfuckers later. Peace.